To successfully complete the Atomo Rapid HIV test, it's important to follow the instructions for use carefully. Before starting, confirm you have the correct test. The label should read Atomo Rapid HIV 1 and 2. Also, check that the expiry date is current. Do the same for the diluent bottle. Be aware, packaging may vary between countries. Remember to wear protective gloves and always follow your clinic's safety procedures. You will also need an alcohol wipe and a timer. Now you are ready to begin. Select a finger to perform the test. Do not select the thumb. Firmly massage the finger in a downward motion from the base to the fingertip. This will increase blood flow. Massage for 5 to 10 seconds. Using an alcohol wipe, now clean the site of the fingertip thoroughly. Then allow the site to air dry. While the finger is air drying, tear open the foil pouch and remove the Atomo Rapid device. Twist the green sterility tab 90 degrees, then pull the green tab out. The tab can be discarded. Firmly push the gray lancet cover against the side of the finger where the blood sample is to be taken. The lancet will automatically fire, retract, and safely lock inside the device. Firmly squeeze behind the puncture site to promote a blood droplet. Move the tip of the blood collection tube under the blood droplet so the tube can easily fill with blood. More than one blood droplet may be needed. If blood smears, wipe the site with gauze and squeeze firmly again until a blood droplet forms so the tube can be filled completely. Once the tube is full, place the device on a flat surface, then rotate the arm until it clicks into place. The blood should be released onto the test strip. Check to see if blood is visible on the test strip. If no blood is visible, discard the device and start again. Now add two drops of the diluent into the blood sample well. Now set your timer and wait 15 minutes before reading the result. Once 15 minutes has elapsed, you can begin to interpret the results. Remember not to wait longer than 20 minutes. Use the instructions for use to help you interpret the results. A line must be present against both the T and C markers for a positive HIV result. Be aware that a weaker line against the T marker is still considered positive to HIV, as the lower the antibody concentration, the weaker the line. For a negative result, one line must be present against the C marker only. If no lines are present, or if one line is present against the T marker only, the result is invalid and the test must be repeated. Double check that blood is present on the test strip when reading the result. If not, discard the device and repeat the test. Once the result has been confirmed, dispose of the used device and any blood contaminated waste safely. Adhere to your clinical protocol regarding confirmation of positive results along with follow-up counseling and patient care.